Okay, here's what we can do, I think, to get to the closest that's in the movie that you want to do that's um, you know, within the possibilities of your skill level. Um, so it's, we're going to start in Photoshop and we're going to build the different cards that we need. Uh, make sure when you open Photoshop that you do File, New, and that you go down for the preset and do uh, Film and Video. And uh, then make sure you make it uh, size is HDTV 1080p 2997. And then make sure it's 1920 by 1080. And here's what's really important too, is make sure um, that you have a transparent background. Okay, um, then you can name it whatever you want and uh, click OK. Um, I'm not gonna do that because I've already done it. And then you're gonna have the window that opens um, and I've already built it. Um, I took the image, um, uh, the screen grab and just sized it so it fits my 1920 by 1080 frame. And you can sort of see here I went in and built the different layers. Um, I'm not going to go through how to do that because I think you know how to do that, but I'll just turn them all on so you can sort of see what I did here. So this is sort of, this is, is what's going to look like. Um, I went ahead and linked mine here. Um, when you get it, oops, I need one more here. I need text in, let's see, don't I need text? You know, you can put text in that box too. Um, whatever reason I took the text out of that uh, but anyways you can put text in there you know how to do that just create a new layer and put the text on it um, then when you X when you save it what you want to do is turn off this back layer you should have um, the screen the checkered screen and then file save as and um, just make sure let's see we'll get it up here just make sure you know I would probably save the PSD document I save it in my stuff folder um, in my project folder, but just make sure um, that you save it um, as a PNG file, otherwise it's not going to work in Avid, okay? So save that as a PNG, and again, I've already done all this, so I'm not going to do it now. Um, when you get done with this, what you can do is, I've gone and linked um, each of, oops, let me do it. I've done and linked all my layers that I made here, um, and uh, what I'd probably do then is just create a folder for them. Um, you know, and you can name it whatever you want. Just copy them and put them all in there. Um, and then when you do the second graphic, you can just duplicate it and keep changing what you need to change on each one if you want to keep them the same size. I think you can figure all that out because you know Photoshop. After you get them in Photoshop, um, again, make sure it's important here that you put them in your project folder, in your images folder. Um, you know, I called, you know, my screen grab... Um, um, you know, there it is right there. You know, I just called it Fashion One. You can call it whatever you want. This, um, I used this image here to sort of show you what I'm going to do in Avid. Uh, the same thing, it works the same way if you put it over video. Um, and then uh, make sure that when you go to your bin here and you go to Tools and Source Browser, uh, make sure that when you import the images um, that you click over here and, um, you know, make sure you click on the Do Not Resize Smaller Images. Uh, you see that? There you go, right there. So that button's checked. Um, again, I've already done that, so I don't need to do it. So I've already put the, put all of that in here. Um, you know, and I put the, um, the 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 text box, and you can sort of see right now it just sort of comes up like that. And if you want to get a little animation to it, like um, was in the movie, what you could do since it's a ping file is just take this back to the beginning. So. Um, Control click, take the image, and if we go um, right here to our effect mode box, I can go in and down here in the lower right, um, click down here so that we've got the keyframe area open. And what I'm going to do is uh, just go ahead and put in a keyframe here. So that's going to be, um, actually before I put that in, what I'm going to do is I don't want... Um, I don't want the, the, the text text here to show. So I'm going to go over here, make sure you click on crop. Uh, and I'm going to take the left, I'm going to drag it all the way to the right. And notice up in the upper right hand corner of this screen that, you know, I can no longer see it. So, and then I'm going to go, put in a keyframe. So I just hit the apostrophe and put it there. I'm going to move this over um, to, I'm going to move it to, you know, just roughly right about there. Um, and I'm going to put in another keyframe. And now I'm going to take this left and drag it back over here. So you can sort of see what I just did now. If I go back here and play this, um, what I did by putting in those keyframes, if this works right, um, I'll see it play up on the screen and come out. See how it comes out like that? Um, 
So that's pretty, you know, if you like that, that's pretty cool. So just remember the speed at which this will reveal is based on the difference in the um, the distance between the first keyframe and the second keyframe. If I wanted to, ex you know, extend the time that it takes to show, if I, um, you know, if I hold down the Option key, you know, and click on the left, I can drag it over and it'll be slower. Notice I've got all these extra keyframes in here. One thing I can do is Control click up here where it says Matte Key, and I can say Remove all the redundant keyframes, so it only takes out the crop keyframes that I'm doing. But notice by extending that now, that now when it plays, you know, it reveals a little bit more slowly, okay? Um, so that's how you can put those in, and you can just sort of stack them on top of each other if you want to have multiple ones showing at the same time, you know, and, and build it that way. Uh, the other thing you ask about is how to do a uh, picture-in-picture picture with the movie. Let's just say I'm going to use, I'm going to use this for purposes here. Um, I'm going to go in here and um, uh, just extend this image just a little bit. Let's say that I wanted to put the... Um, put Brian over here in the right hand corner you know um, chances are I'm guessing you know I, I don't think there was any audio with it um, when it was in the um, uh, when it was in the, uh, the YouTube movie that you showed me so I'll show you, sort of show you how to do that so again I'll need to create if I want the audio I've already done this um, create a new uh, video and audio tracks um, if you don't want to use the audio um, that's cool, you don't need to, just don't have the A3 and A4 tracks active here uh, when you add it in. So let's just say I'm going to use Brian, um, and I'm going to put it on track 3 here. So I'm going to make track 3 active, make these inactive. And I'm not going to bring in the audio from uh, from this, so I'm just going to bring in the video. So I'll go up here and pick the point where I want Brian, you know, or whatever you want to come in. Do I for N, um, and you can pick the whole thing up here for the length of what you want. Um, or you can, pick, or you know, again, it's just three-point editing. So let's just say I'm going to put, um, um, I'm just going to pick the points down here. I'm going to do I for in here, and let's just say I want it to play to O for out here when the, while that graphic is still up. So again, the only thing I want active is V3. So I'm going to go ahead and put the video in. Now notice when I put the video in, obviously it's going to play over this. Uh, what did I just do? Yeah, I'm going to go up to tools. I'm going to go to the effect palette, my bad. I'm going to go to the effect palette and I'm going to take right here, I'm going to take picture in picture. So I'm going to do this and just drag it down. Oops, I can't do it while this is enlarged. I'm going to take picture in picture and drag it down into the clip that I want to use. And there it is. So now I can see it. Um, again, you know, this is sort of the size that it comes in. If I need to crop it at all, I can just park over it, go to crop. And here I can pull in the left side maybe. You know, if I want more of, um, you know, this size shot. Uh, and then I can just click, hold, and drag it and put it where I want in the frame. Um, you know, pretty much like it was uh, in the movie there. Uh, if I want to resize this, all I have to do is go up in the upper left-hand corner, you know, and I can make it larger or bigger going that way. Okay. Okay. Um, so the other thing I could do, obviously, is go over here to scaling. If I do here, make sure you got fixed aspect ratio, and you can sort of change the size there, too. Um, and then, you know, you can change it by clicking position, or you can just click, hold, and drag, and move it over there. So now you can sort of see that when it plays here, oops, I got everything popping up that, uh, that you wanted to see. Let's go back, watch it again. You know, so you can sort of see how that works for you there. Yeah. You know, and the timing might be a little off because of my server here. Let's see if I... Uh, yeah, I delayed it a little. So here, if I pull this back over here, I'm going to pull this back. So maybe it'll come in a little bit sooner here. Let's see here. Oops, I got to make sure I got this guy on. All kinds of things going on, right? So anyways, that sort of gives you an idea of what you can do. Um, 
you know, so obviously the video can play as long as you want. Um, you know, and it goes out and that goes away and that goes away and yada, yada, yada. Um, I'll be around if you have questions.